welcome to another edition of Auto Geek Show Car Garage here in Stewart, Florida. I'm your host, Mike Phillips, and on this edition, I'm going to show you how to remove swirls using a Porter Cable 7424 XP Dual Action Polisher. The number one complaint people have about their car's finish is swirls. Swirls are millions of fine scratches in the paint that usually show up in bright light like the sun. A great looking finish is swirl free. So let me show you how to remove the swirls out of your car's finish and restore a show car shine. The safest, fastest, and easiest way to remove swirls is using a dual action polisher like the Porter Cable 7424 XP. It's possible to remove swirls by hand, but because modern clear coat paints tend to be fairly hard, you'll soon find out that working by hand requires a lot of time and a lot of hard work. What you need is a machine that can do the work for you. But when it comes to a machine, what you need is power with safety. And that's what you get with a dual action polisher like the Porter Cable 7424 XP. The Porter Cable 7424 XP comes with a powerful 4.5 amp 500 watt motor, which is plenty of power to remove swirls. And it's safe because it uses what's referred to as a free rotating spindle assembly as a drive mechanism to rotate and oscillate the buffing pad all at the same time. In simple terms, what this means is when you turn the polisher on, the buffing pad will both rotate in a circle, while at the same time, it's gonna make little tiny circles inside this larger circle. It's this dual action of rotating and oscillating at the same time that gives it the power to remove swirls while not putting swirls in at the same time. When it comes to removing swirls, the Porter Cable Polisher is just one component of the equation, however. Besides the polisher, you're also gonna need foam buffing pads, a polish, glaze, and wax, and some quality microfiber towels. These are the products you'll need to remove swirls out of your car's finish. But there's one more thing you'll need, and that's proper technique. You can have all the right products, but if you don't use proper technique, at the end of the day, when you wipe that wax off and inspect the results, the swirls will still be there. It's easy enough to find and purchase all these products, but using proper technique is easier to learn if you can watch somebody who knows the proper technique and copy what they do instead of trying to figure it out all on your own through trial and error. Especially if, like most people, the car you're working on is your own and it's important to you. So get ready to pay attention because I'm going to show you the correct technique for successfully removing swirls using a Porter Cable 7424 Dual Action Polisher. Before you can machine polish your car's paint, you first want to wash and dry the car and then inspect the paint to see if it needs to be clayed. Over time, if your car is parked outside, exposed to the environment, like when you're at work, airborne contaminants like pollution, industrial fallout, tree sap, and overspray paint can land on your car's paint and actually bond to the finish if not removed in a short amount of time. Before machine polishing, it's important to inspect for above surface bonded contaminants and if discovered, remove them using detailing clay. You inspect the paint for above surface bond contaminants by feeling the horizontal panels and what you're doing is you're checking for any types of little bumps or surface texture. Paint that is clean should feel smooth and glassy. If your paint doesn't feel smooth and glassy after washing and drying, then you want to first clay the paint using some detailing clay. We've already washed and dried this car and clayed it, so this paint is ready to start working on. To remove swirls with a Porter Cable 7424 XP Dual Action Polisher, you're going to need some foam buffing pads, a quality swirl mark remover, and some clean microfiber polishing towels to gently remove any polishing residue. Let's start by inspecting the paint and evaluating the condition of the finish quality. Our demo car is a black 2009 Lexus IS250, and as you can see, there are swirls everywhere in the paint. Here at Auto Geek Show Car Garage, we always teach the practice of using the least aggressive product to get the job done. 
By following this practice, you'll always get the results you want while preserving your car's factory finish. Now, when we talk about product, this could be the foam buffing pad or the polish, and sometimes both. Before buffing out the entire car, the first thing you want to do is determine what it will take to remove the swirls and restore a show car finish, practicing the least aggressive product to get the job done. By following this practice, you'll get the results you want while preserving your car's factory finish. Now, when we talk about using the least aggressive product, this could be the foam buffing pad or the polish, and sometimes both. Before buffing out the entire car, the first thing you want to do is determine what it'll take to remove the swirls and restore a show car finish using the least aggressive product to get the job done. In the Wolfgang line, the Total Swirl Remover 3.0 is a product intended for removing swirls. Since we're going to start with this liquid swirl mark remover, let's determine and choose a pad to go with it. The way you determine which pad you need to effectively remove swirls is by doing what's called a test spot. A test spot is where you test out a pad and product combination to one small area and then inspect the results. After you buff a small section, if the paint looks great, then you've proven your system and this will give you the confidence to repeat this process over the rest of the car. Now, if you're not getting all the swirls and scratches out, then you need to test again and this time try either a more aggressive product or a more aggressive pad and sometimes both until you dial in a system that removes the defects to your satisfaction. So let's do a test spot, and while I'm doing this, I will also be showing you exactly how to use the Porter Cable 7424 XP dual action polisher to remove swirls, because the technique I use to do my test spot is the same technique I'm going to use over the rest of the car to remove all the rest of the swirls. Before we start, let's talk about a few best practices. Whenever you're machine polishing, you want to stand with your feet spread apart shoulder width, and if possible, with one foot in front of the other. By placing one foot in front of the other, you can transfer your weight to your strong leg muscle instead of your lower back muscles. Next, place the cord over your shoulder, like this. And the reason for that is so when you're machine buffing, you don't sit here and drag the cord up and down on the paint and possibly mar it or even scratch it. Now this one's real important. Never turn the polisher on until the face of the pad is in contact with the paint, okay? And also, never lift the polisher off the paint until you've turned the polisher off. Here's why. If you turn the polisher on with product on the face of the pad and the pad is in the air, the polisher will quickly rev up and throw splatter all over the car, the walls in your garage, and even you. Then, instead of enjoying yourself polishing your baby to perfection, you'll put the polisher down and start wiping little dots of splatter off everything. So remember, don't turn the polisher on until the pad is in contact with the paint and don't lift the pad off the paint until you turn the polisher off and the pad stops spinning. Now, let's go over the proper techniques for using the Porter Cable 7424 XP. First, when removing swirls with a dual action polisher, you only want to work a small section at a time, usually no larger than a two foot squared section and oftentimes even smaller. When sizing up how you're going to buff out your specific car, you want to look at the panels on your car and using your imagination, you want to break up each panel into smaller sections and then work one section at a time. After you finish one section, move on to the next section and be sure to overlap a little bit into the previous section. For this test spot, I'm going to take some painter's tape and I'm actually going to tape off a square area right out here in the middle of the hood and then we're only going to work on the inside of that section. And the size I tape off is about the size you want to tackle when removing swirls on your car. And then, after we're done going through the complete process, we'll pull the tape off and we'll inspect the results.